question is, how are we supposed to handle having the capability to speak two languages and at times expected to translate for others in the workplace, many times as a favor, but not to be compensated? Makes it seem like asking to be compensated for work, ability to speak uh, two languages, um, that they're not being a team player. Um, so the question really is around um, if or how um, employers should compensate bilingual, multilingual speaking staff. Um, uh, sounds as though, you know, this person, um, if speaking from experience, it feels like they're being um, taken advantage of. But, um, well, um, oh, I'm glad you asked that question. And I think they, they are. <laughs> if, if, if my job is finance, mm -hmm. that's my job, right? But we're sitting there in a meeting, and there's about 20 of us around the table. And they say, hey, we need to get a graphic design for this project, for this event that we're putting together. And we uh, we don't really have a lot of money for that. We don't have any money for that. Could someone do that? Well, I, I'm a finance person, but you know, back in college, do all kinds of graphic design. Matter of fact, I still do things for my church and nonprofits I work with and blah, blah, blah. I got a skill set. I If that's something I do on a regular basis, it's one thing I have to do once in a while for that one project. That's that's just me being, you know, maybe a little bit of a team player. I'm, I'm, I'm offering something up as an as a additional skill set. But it's something I'm expected to do. Now you've made that part of my job. I should be compensated for that. Uh, and there need, I think there should be some conversations with, with each day, your supervisor, with HR, that this is something that's an ongoing practice as part of your job that you're supposed to be somehow translating things and intervening or, or being a mediator or whatever it may be to help with the translation or interpretation of whatever the, the language you're, or, or you're, you have skills in. That should be something that's part of your job and you should be compensated for it. The question is how to have that conversation. And so I think keeping track of the times that you're having to do the kind of work, every time that happens, if you feel like this just, you know, when someone walks in the door and it's like, hey, where's Bobby? You know, if that's something that's just on a regular, ongoing basis, you might keep track of it and say, hey, I, I've, I've noticed over the last two or three months, this is something I've spent this amount of time on. I've been called on this many times. This, I feel like this is a certain portion of my position. And, I, and it's invaluable because this is a resource. Because if you weren't there, chances are they wouldn't have someone to do it. And so they need to be thinking about what does it cost for them not to have that? So, and so what you're doing is monetizing the value you bring to organization. And it takes away this idea that this is a kind of a crunchy, huggy, uh, kumbaya kind of like, let's go out and hug each other, diversity, equity, inclusion. No, this is about dollars, y'all. This is about getting paid. And when you're doing something enough that consumes your time and energy and your expertise and experience, you need to get paid for it. You need to compensate for it.